Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Deep Jace Wilson STEM video. Uh, this video is geared towards teaching a little bit about drafting and some design work. Um, we are going to start talking about orthographic three view drawing. Okay? And you'll see that come across the screen. Orthographic three view drawing. Okay? So orthographic three view drawing is a drawing where you're taking an object, right, and you are drawing it on three different sides. You're drawing it from its front, top, and side views. Now in orthographic three view drawing we do not draw perspective drawing, but we draw just the object, that one specific side. Okay? So typically in orthographic three view, um, You'll see it drawn a few different ways, but typically the way that I like it is you'll draw the top view, you'll draw the front view, and then you'll draw the side view over to the right side of your object. All right, so let's get into this, and we're gonna take this kind of slow. We're gonna draw something very easy, okay? We're gonna draw a book, okay? And the book is going to be let's say five inches tall okay it's going to be three inches wide and it's going to be one inch in thickness or people may say depth okay all right, so let's draw the front of this book first, okay? So the front of the book is if I'm looking at the book, you know, the front cover, okay? So I know that it's going to be, actually, let's do this. So if I'm looking at the front view, a few things that I'm gonna see is that the front is going to be, is gonna show me the height of the book, I'll write that here too. The height and the width, because it's not going to show me how thick the book is. So it's going to be the height. Oops, I did not even spell it right. So height and width. The top view is going to be the width. And depth and then the side view is going to be the height and depth okay so I want to show you what what all this means okay so um, I was going to start with a line over here because I'm going to draw my front view first so I know the front is going to be my height and width, so it's going to be five inches by three inches. So I'm going to use my ruler here, my standard ruler, and I'm going to start at zero, and I'm going to draw straight up five inches, or five inches, okay? That's a beautiful straight line. Now I know my book is also going to be three inches wide, so I'm going to start here at the bottom. Try and match it up as even as you can. Well, in some cases we would use a protractor for this, but for this particular session I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to go start at zero, right? One inch two inches and three inches, okay? And now I'm just gonna do, repeat that same thing up here at the top. So start at zero, one inch, two inches and three inches. So there's the top, bottom, and then one side of my book. And so now 
obviously I'm going to close this up okay so here is the front of my book and I'm going to write that right here front now what's missing from here I'm glad you asked so I need to designate the height and so the height is going to be five inches right and remember we don't write the word inches we write at double quotes double quotes are inches single quotes are feet and how wide was my book my book was three inches wide okay so that's the front cover so now let's draw the top view okay now we know the top view is width and depth okay when we're thinking about this so three inches wide by one inch thick all right so I'm going to draw it coordinating with this so I'm going to draw a three inch line Obviously, I'm starting over at zero, and then one, two, three inches, okay? Now, how thick was my book? Now again, you got to take this as if you're looking straight down on the book, all right? So I'm starting here at zero and a straight line down. Okay, to one inch, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. One inch. Okay. Now obviously, you know what we do? We're closing this out ruler moved okay so remember how wide it was it was three inches so we still have to write those measurement designations three inches By one inch okay so that's your top view your front view and now we have the last view is our side view and our side view is our height and our depth okay so we're going to be drawing a box that is five inches tall and one inch in depth now this is just as if you are looking at the book from its spine, okay? So starting at zero. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? And because the thickness of my book was still that same one inch, so I'm going to draw Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here at the bottom. Just going to draw a one inch line. Okay, then we want to close this out. Now, again, there are a lot of different methods and a lot of different tools for drafting and design work. I'm going to find people that use different methods than I do. I'm going to find people that use different tools than I do. Um, but the most important thing that you do is practice. Make sure you know your measurements. Okay? Alright. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our measurement designations on here. So we know the height of this book was 
five inches and the depth of this book was one inch and then this is obviously our side view so this is how you would draw this particular box or this particular book in orthographic three view drawing it from three different sides so your front top and side views okay and then once you gather the uh, width and the height and the depth of whatever it is that you're drawing then you can plan it out okay and then you can begin drawing actually one of the things you also want to make sure that you do is get the specific tools that you'll need so for example if I was trying to draw a um, a pentagon well I wouldn't use this a, a regular ruler I would use a, um, a protractor because a protractor I need to do the angles and make sure I get all the angles correct okay uh, to draw that or if I was drawing a triangle or a pyramid or something along those lines in orthographic 3 I would need to make sure that I have the right tools okay but this is beginning okay of drawing and design and drafting okay so again thanks for watching have fun with this, and as always, as always, as always, as always, go build something cool and beneficial to human society. I should start saying that. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.